thank all of you for active participation and uh, it was worth to take uh, to have this last 20 minutes thank you very much the range of topics and issues is very wide but there is an even greater number of everything that we share together so um, i'm a new member of eloy team uh, i'm olivera as you see on my screen and i'm very glad to be here with you and to learn about danube networks so we are continue um, further to present to our presentation and uh, we will present now uh, Cultural, uh, sorry, Center for Studies in Cultural Development from Belgrade. Then the association, the Writers League from Temiswara, Banat branch. And uh, then we will come to Public Open University Zagreb, uh, which will be present by Tihomir Zhivek. Uh, so I found very interesting and important to have uh, so uh, independent sen seen and also institutions all together at one place so um, as at first participant i will call um, center for studies in cultural development um, mr vukukicevic uh, director of the center he will give a presentation about the center and about the activities within the new network please Hello, good morning to everybody and good morning to Olivera, who moderate very well this event. Olivera and me, we organized together Belgrade Book Fair a few years ago and it is a great pleasure to see Olivera again. Uh, so uh, I'm uh, speaking in front of the Center for Study in Cultural Development of the Republic of Serbia, a national institution based in Belgrade. I would like to present a uh, presentation that I prepared. I will uh, now open from my computer. So as you can see, uh, Center for Studies in Cultural Development is established in uh, 67. It is a unique institution in the Republic of Serbia, which engages in uh, research. Develop, developmental applied and action research across the social sciences and humanities in the fields of culture and media. But also our center has uh, many other activities. Uh, we help our institutions to define strategic plans in the area of culture. We help uh, to our ministry uh, to uh, draft strategy, we, we helped with many data and uh, with the many analyses to uh, define uh, this uh, document. Also, we cooperate with the different mun municipalities and together with them, uh, we are trying to define best action plans for culture in their cities. Also, we have publishing activities. Uh, we uh, publish different books. We organize different events, also scientific, professional, and international events, and also we run uh, similar projects. Uh, on the screen, you can see how our uh, institution looks uh, from the street. Uh, the building was uh, built uh, about 30 years ago, is based in the center of Belgrade and uh, it is built uh, right for our institution. So the architecture is such that enable us to work in the best possible way. Uh, here uh, we have uh, 27 employees. Here you can see our dear researchers. Some of them are together with us today and yesterday. Uh, Bogdana Opacic and Masha are uh, working uh, together on uh, the project Discovering Neighborhoods in the Third Age, uh, together with the Institute in Ulm and uh, other uh, partners from uh, different European countries. 
Also, Dayan Zagorac is uh, cooperate, cooperates for a long time with uh, us, and I, I, I'm sure that many uh, our colleagues know him very well. And uh, also, we have uh, many uh, other researchers that contribute largely to the work of our institution. Uh, so, uh, focus of uh, research uh, in our institution is in cultural participation. So, every year uh, we, uh, we follow cultural needs of uh, the inhabitants of the Republic of Serbia. And uh, we also uh, do uh, many research in order to see what is happening in cultural domain, what is happening with the institutions, what are their problems. For example, now with Corona, we made uh, uh, important research to help UNESCO to define uh, their, uh, to, to, to have all necessary information from different countries regarding how Corona influence cultural sector and people who work in this sector. Uh, also, we are, uh, our institution is active in cultural statistics. Actually, Center for Study in Cultural Development is the main national point for statistics in culture in Serbia. Uh, we cooperate with Statistical Office of the Republic of Serbia and all statistics that is published uh, about culture basically uh, is uh, uh, providing from our institution. We have uh, one uh, web application called eCulture. So we enable all cultural institutions in Serbia. There are about 500 archives, uh, uh, libraries, museums, and other institutions. They put all data related to their work in this application. And uh, thanks to that, uh, we can have all necessary statistics. Uh, regarding strategic plans, uh, I already mentioned, you can see on these images, uh, for example, uh, with the municipality of Sombor, which is on the very north uh, of uh, Serbia, Northwest, uh, we uh, have uh, an agreement to help municipality to define their cultural strategy. So uh, on the bottom image, you can see how we work together with representatives of NGOs, cultural inst institutions and private sectors, uh, representatives in order to define all problems and possibilities for developing culture in Sombor. Uh, on this image, you can see a press conference uh, together with the mayor of Sombor uh, to present our plans and to invite all people from Sombor to give uh, their opinions so we can uh, define strategy and action plan for development of culture in democratic way and participatory way. Uh, also, Center for Study and Cultural Development uh, publish scientific journal culture. Uh, this uh, is uh, the most important scientific journal in this area in Serbia. It is founded in '68, and uh, it uh, is published regularly for numbers every year. So you can see on the image one of the presentation here of the uh, culture, one issue related to Yugoslavian culture, ex-Yugoslavian culture. And here is the front page of the last number, uh, which deal with the uh, problems uh, related to uh, to programs uh, and media politics uh, and how media politics treat uh, culture. Uh, so uh, we, every year we define four themes 
and we are in this sense we are open for uh, 2021 to consider all uh, propositions and to find best solutions so we have the most actual and important terms in our scientific review. This is scientific review, of course, and we uh, must follow our methodo methodologies which are linked to one scientific review. Uh, here uh, is uh, the page about international cooperation of Center for Study and Cultural Development. Uh, we started uh, our collaboration with UNESCO 50 years ago. On the image, you can see uh, one meeting in UNESCO in Paris. Uh, we represent uh, uh, Mariana Milankov, our researcher, and me. Uh, we represented Serbia as a national contact point for uh, the Convention on Cultural Diversity. So we follow this convention regularly. We prepare all documents uh, and uh, also follow all meetings related to this convention. But uh, also we have uh, many other international cooperation. As I mentioned, we uh, are part of Erasmus Plus project discovering uh, neighborhoods in the third age, but also uh, we made uh, many other projects and application for Creative Europe and other European projects. And uh, also uh, we uh, have a very strong collaboration with similar institutes uh, in uh, countries as Romania, in uh, also Croatia, Bulgaria. Also, we are part of NCAT, which is European network of uh, similar research institutions and uh, of uh, other important uh, uh, networks such as EGMUS, and, uh, which is related to institutions who uh, deal with statistics about museums on the European level and uh, many other European and international uh, network. So uh, our aim is to uh, go far and uh, to try to um, contribute to, to better collaboration and understanding on European level. Uh, this is a page about our publishing sector. You can see some of our books. Uh, this is the Tastes of Stara Planina Mountain, very important and uh, beautiful uh, mountain in Serbia. Also, also Taste of Zlatibor, which is one other very important mountain in Serbia. Here, uh, this is uh, one big book, uh, monography about collaboration between France and Serbia. Uh, it, is in, it is written in Serbian, but also in French. So it is bilingual publication. This publication is about cultural habits of uh, uh, people who work in schools with the pupils. And uh, we have also many other pub publications. So we follow our research with our pub publication, but also uh, thanks to our uh, books, we can establish, keep, and uh, work on uh, our, cop our, our uh, partner, together with our partners on different projects. Uh, regarding electronic publishing, uh, our institution have uh, different projects. Uh, we, uh, in in last two or three years, we formed the website and mobile application for uh, journal culture, so that uh, everybody can read all articles published in culture in last 50 years. So everything, everything, and uh, also it is possible to uh, find, to search, and uh, to very easily download all PDFs. 
and also it is possible to do via mobile application uh, on Google Play, it is possible to find the, this uh, application. Also, uh, we developed virtual map of cultural institutions in Serbia. This is very important project. Uh, so you, you see the map of Serbia and of all 500 uh, cultural institutions, and then you can go and see uh, uh, data about all of these institutions. Uh, also, we done other projects. We developed culture timeline of the Republic of Serbia. On the photo, you can see presentation of culture timeline of the Republic of Serbia in the Ministry of Culture. It was in January this year. Also, we developed mobile application quiz knowledge of Serbian culture. We upgraded our website. And uh, also we up improved the platform of database e-culture. So we are very active in this domain. Uh, gallery program, we have a small gallery in our institution. You can see uh, the image uh, from our one event, which was related to children works, children, children paintings, but also we organize many other uh, important event, uh, discussions, uh, conferences, and uh, other events in our little gallery. Uh, so, uh, so it is very important for us because in this way we can present all our projects and plans. Also, uh, our institution has a library uh, this is special library and uh, we have uh, important titles uh, related to theory of culture and cultural policy. Many of them are uh, very old, but in the meantime, very actual. So uh, we keep them and uh, many professors, academics and intellectuals are very interested for these titles and use them. So uh, it was short presentation about Center for Studies in Cultural Development. A as I mentioned, we are very interested to develop uh, collaboration and cooperation on European level. And I would use this opportunity to invite all organizations and subjects to uh, write us if you think that we can uh, collaborate on joint projects. Uh, also, I would like to thank again to organizers of this conference. It is a really a great opportunity to address all of you. And it is thanks to Carmen, thanks to Oliveira, and uh, uh, to other members of team of the uh, Eloy. So thank you again. And uh, I'm and I, I will be very happy to hear also your presentations. Thank you, Luke. Thank you very much. Um, since we are lack of time, um, we will leave some time maybe for uh, some questions because there are a lot of interesting things that we have heard uh, now, uh, but we have to uh, proceed uh, before um, the presentation that will be done uh, uh, from Temeswara, um, the association, uh, the Writers League, I would like to thank uh, not only to the institutions, but also to, person, uh, to, to the persons that gave the um, um, inputs and um, photographs, texts for our CodeNet project. So this is an opportunity to work together with the institutions, uh, but uh, very, uh, very important activity is this personal uh, work that you've done. For example, uh, uh, we have several um, uh, photographs and text for our CodeNet project. Um, that have been done uh, uh, of the people from um, Center for Cultural De uh, Development. So thank you for that. And now uh, 
we will uh, hear the association, the Writers' League from Temishwara, Banat Branch. I would ask uh, Anna Slibut to tell us about this interesting association, please. Yes, thank you, Olivera. Thank you for your nice words. And uh, hello to everyone. I want uh, to share my presentation in a moment. I would uh, start to present the Association of the Writers League, the Mishwara Banat branch. I am Anna Slibutz. I'm the first uh, vice president of the association. And I want to tell you that uh, the association was uh, founded in May uh, 2010. That means that we have uh, 10 years, we are 10 years old in Timisoara. Uh, Timisoara is uh, the capital of Banat. Uh, we are in the west part of Romania. And uh, our association has the aim of supporting the artistic uh, creation, expression, and moral solidarity of its uh, members. It is a professional, non governmental, apolitical organization consisting of uh, creators in the field of uh, literatures. I can tell you that uh, the most of us are uh, teacher or professor, retired or in pension, engineers, or even uh, we have uh, two judges. The targets of uh, the Writers League Timisoara is encouragement, stimulation, and promotion of literary creation by developing correspondent cultural, literary, and artistic activities. Uh, we met uh, every month, and uh, in the first uh, Saturday of every month, we have a launch uh, of a new book written by our uh, members. So uh, every month there is a launch in uh, public uh, to, for our books. Also, our association encourages lifelong education projects by organizing cultural events focused on developing art skills with a strong intergenerational focus. Between the events organized by our association are also creative literary workshops, cultural salons, and art uh, exhibitions. I want to tell you that the Writers League Timisoara is a um, member in different association as being a branch of the Romanian Writers League, which has the office in Cluj-Napoca. Cluj-Napoca is a town in Transylvania, in the center part of Romania. And uh, the Writers, Romanian Writers League has 38 branches, from which 12 are abroad. We have over 1,000 members, and we have at our disposal 18 magazines to share our creation and uh, work. Also, the Writers League Timisoara is founding member in uh, 2014 of the international organization Danube Networkers for Europe, DANET, Network for Learning in Later Life, Social Participation, and Intergenerational dialogue and uh, being a member in uh, this uh, extraordinary network we have we've been involved in many projects i will talk about later also the writers league is member of the danube civil society forum since uh, october 2015 we had uh, we have and had a lot of partnerships with uh, the teacher house in uh, Timish County, the school inspectorate of Timish County, County Center of Resources and Educational Assistance, Timish Timishwara. We are working with the Romanian, other Romanian NGOs in the same field. We have a very good relation and partnership with the West uh, University of Timishwara in the, and with three faculties from there. Also with schools and high schools from uh, Timishwara partnerships with Timish County Council, the Prefecture of Timish County, and the House of Culture of Municipality of uh, Timisoara. Writers League Timisoara organized International Symposium Timisoara Seen Through the Eyes of Foreign Visitors in May 2014, also an International Symposium Timisoara Ring in the Cultural Chain of Danubian Countries, in partnership with Timish County Council, 
Also, we have uh, different projects in which we cooperate with other branches from Romanian Writers League, from Iaș, Bucharest, Bistrița, Cluj-Napoca, because between our branch there is a lot of exchange of experience and uh, meetings. In the frame of international uh, projects, we uh, made international anthologies and uh, Doina Dragan, which is the president of uh, Timisoara Writers League, involved uh, 30 poets from six countries, Romania, Croatia, Germany, Austria, Bulgaria and Serbia, in the contest Danube in Poems, editing an international anthology of Danube poets in the frame of the European project Danube Stories in 2012. Grundvik project, also in the frame of the project Taste of Danube in 2016, Vena Dragan and myself conceived the international anthology of Danube writers, which included 32 authors from six Danube countries, Croatia, Germany, Hungary, Republic of Moldova, Romania and Serbia, and also has additional contributions from Canada and Italy. Our uh, association has the capacity of involving a large amount of people of different ages. For example, in the project The Wanted Danube in 2014, the Romanian, the Romanian Writers League Timisoara Banad branch involved public authorities as prefecture of Timish County, Timish County Council, universities as West University of Timisoara, high schools, theoretical high school Vlacepeș, theoretical high school Grigore Moisil, secondary and primary schools, secondary school number 25, number seven, also NGOs as uh, the Cultural Association Constantin from Timisoara, Museum, Banat Village Museum Timisoara, House of Culture, the House of Culture of Municipality of Timisoara, and Seniors Club. We have a very good uh, relations with uh, uh, and participation from the part of seniors from Seniors Association of uh, Timisoara. Uh, here I choose uh, photos uh, from uh, two activities from uh, Christmas package exchange with the Danube neighbors and uh, uh, a photo in the frame of Red uh, Connects. Also, I want to tell that uh, uh, the Writers League besides the national, local and national projects, uh, is involved in international and European projects. And we start from 2012 with the Grunvik project, personal town tours. In 2013, the Wanted Danube. Six, in 2016, Taste of Danube, Bread, Wine and Herbs. In 2017, Taste of Danube, Bread Connects. Uh, also, in the same year, Open Door for Danube Countries for All, ODA, and uh, the Erasmus Plus project, Building Bridges for Europe, BBE. And we are uh, involved and uh, participate actively in the uh, projects from this year, Erasmus Plus Discovering uh, European Neighbors in the Third Age, and Connecting Danube Neighbors by Culture, Kodanek. Uh, I want to tell you that even when uh, Corona is coming over us, we still continue our activities and also participating in the projects. As uh, Olivera said before, we have been actively in uh, Codanex, recent contribution for my personal uh, uh, cultural treasure for online uh, digital book uh, Corona in the Corona times. And also, we've been participated every Sunday since the beginning at the uh, online meetings come together every Sunday, which uh, our members and our friends from Timisoara participated. And also, uh, there will be a member from our Writers League who is singing tonight. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, these projects um, has, have been possible because uh, uh, of uh, Karma Sadelhofer, which has been the coordinator in all the European uh, projects. The Writers League involved uh, 
a lot of people which continuously participated in these activities. And every time the Romanian writers like Timisoara uh, try and succeed to involve new uh, participants. And uh, also, I want to tell you that for uh, a very dear activity for us, because since 2012, uh, Romanian Writers League Timisoara uh, Banat branch has been having an educational partnership with the theoretical high school Vlad Sefes, named Literature Bridge Amongst Generations, which develops a pleasure to enjoy book launch. Just opens a gate of knowledge and friendship amongst people, pupils, teachers, poets, the stimulation of interest and curiosity on the world of books using the intergenerational transmission of knowledge and uh, values. I want to thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Many um, networks are currently working through the Condonic project to collect this text on the personal experience. European citizen during Corona and the Association uh, Writers League was very active in collection also this, this uh, text for future book. Both uh, you, Anna and Vuk encouraged me to remind us all uh, that Brodenek project has a section where all exciting books and the magazines and journals can be placed that can be our common library open to all and normally free, free of charge. And uh, that is maybe some um, new activity that we can start after the conference, but we have to proceed. I would ask uh, Tom, uh, Tom Tiko Mirziljak, uh, Public Open University Zagreb to present this very valuable institution, please. Okay. I hope that I will be very efficient after my dear colleagues Anna and Vuk and explain everything in a few minutes because I suppose that we are pretty tired after all those presentations and everything. And also I hope that it will be very nice to see different colors. After Anna's blue presentation, you will see my red presentation. Of course, it is not my decision, it's decision of my company, but of course, it is good to see something new on, on this. Uh, uh, okay, and I hope that you will see my presentation and my slide. Am I right? You can see. And, uh, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, Public Open University Zagreb, you know, it's always very difficult to translate our regional name because our, in Croatia, it's Pučko Otvoreno Učilište. So we always have mistake and very difficult to explain what is open in our university because you know, hello, Diana, you know. <laughs> Anna, yeah, I can see that you have help. Uh, you know, we are not the same like uh, like Open University in United in UK. You know, it's we are different because we are not focused to higher education, but mostly on secondary vocation, that education and culture. So we are also sometimes like public universities, like in Germany, Volkshochschule. But we are not same. You know, we are also different. Like also, I can't pronounce it uh, uh, from a North European false blazing, which has more focus to general and liberal education. So we are kind, of, we are, uh, I don't know, a little bit mixture between this general liberal education and vocational education and training and culture. So it's uh, something special. It's not usual and often seen in the Western part of Europe. For example, in Central Europe, in in United Kingdom, or for example, in northern part of Europe. But this kind of uh, tradition in in uh, Croatia and in our neighborhood countries, uh, we are established a little bit. Uh, we are a little bit older than Anna's uh, uh, Anna's uh, society, of course, uh, because you know we can say that we uh, we are practically. We are practically uh, more than 100 years old, 
you can see me that it's you know that it's true that we are a pretty old institution, but I'm not personally 100 years old, but of course our institution is pretty old institution. And one of his uh, founder is Albert Bazala, who practically transferred experience from uh, Vienna, from Prague and Central European uh, towns with similar kind of education. But I should notice that also we have another founder of adult education in Croatia. It is Andrea Stampar, who, who is one of uh, the founding fathers of World Health Organization and practically one very important person for, uh, for recent uh, COVID uh, epidemic because, uh, you know, in the basis of adult education in Croatia is this kind of, of uh, sharing knowledge, experience and uh, skills uh, across the whole population, not just for one part. So we have founded in uh, 1907, but you can see uh, our building, which practically we built in 1962. And of course, if you can look closely to the cards, you can see that this, this photo is not from uh, last few years, but uh, you can see that, of course, uh, these types of cars are a little bit older from 1962. Our specific situation that we are a public, uh, public institution, but without public financial support is a little bit strange, you know, because we are uh, governed by public or local authorities, but without money from uh, local authorities. So we are completely oriented to educational market, uh, students' fees, supports, and fundraising. So, you know, it's not uh, easy to survive in this, uh, in this environment. Not and if, uh, not at all, you know, <laughs> so, you know, so we always try to find new opportunities to, uh, to empower our participants to join our uh, uh, programs. So, you know, it's, so that's the reason why we work not only in Zagreb, but in, uh, all around the Croatia, in different cities and uh, different counties. And so, you know, how to survive is not easy. Okay, we have a lot of, uh, uh, maybe it's better to, to first show the uh, structure of our uh, institution to see how it's uh, different we are from maybe institution with similar name, but not similar structure. Because we have a lot of, of vocational education and training. It's kind of continuing vocational education and training. Uh, secondary schools, uh, upgrading uh, education, so we have a lot of uh, students practically uh, which dropped out, who dropped out and tried to find new opportunities for their career or for their future life. We have also a center for culture and publishing. Uh, one of the biggest part of our research university is uh, around 1,000 students. We are one of the biggest research university in the region. Of course, Slovenia is bigger than us. But of course, we are one of the biggest uh, third age university. And uh, I'm uh, head of the department for lifelong learning development and EU project. It's also a kind, uh, uh, the both part of our mission is very important, development and EU project, because without European social fund, it will be very difficult to survive in the last few years, you know. So there's a reason why we have a lot of participants. Of course, we have problem uh, with, after uh, this year with in, in this in this problem with with COVID epidemic, and uh, you know a lot of our students are not prepared for using online uh, programs, and especially third age university, all the students are not really enthusiastic in using uh, online courses, Zoom or something like that. So. Of course, we have 50 employees and a lot of part-time trainers. We, we, are, we have different, we have members of different networks, European Association for Adult Education. Of course, we are one of the, uh, on the founders of DANET and also the Global or International Association for Third Age University, of course, Croatian and Dragovic Society. And I've just noticed that we try to 
uh, to provide and to implement different kinds of projects, from IPA cards, uh, lifelong learning, to this in Erasmus Plus and Erasmus, Europe uh, for Citizens, Creative Europe is social fund, and we are Erasmus ambassador for adult education uh, in, in Croatia. Uh, formal education, we have elementary school, secondary training, upskilling programs, so on. Non-formal, we have different kinds of math, music, dances, IT courses, heritage university, foreign languages, so on. We use different kinds of methods, practical training, presentation, face-to-face, -face, online instruction, tailor met for these groups. But what is more is most interesting for us? Participants. Who are our participants? Mostly unemployed persons, because you know they should find new solution for their career, for their future life. Employees who need new skills and knowledges to survive for the labor market. Older people in Thurtage University. But we have also a lot of immigrants, asylum seekers. Practically the last few years, last two years, we have, I don't know how many, uh, the share of these uh, participants, but we have uh, practically in each program, we have more than uh, 10 or 20% of uh, immigrants on asylum seekers. So it's very important for us to use this kind of our inclusive policy. But also we work a lot with marginalized groups, for example, Roma people from elementary to secondary school, from their uh, uh, upgrading the training, and people with disabilities. We, we work a lot with uh, people with hearing impairments, with visual impairments, and a little bit with uh, mental impairments. So, you know, different kind of project and we prepare tailor-made programs for such for such groups uh, partners we have for 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 uh, this conference it's very important to explain our partnership with civil society organizations but if we have we have a very good cooperation with local national regional european ngos uh, you know, if you, if you want to organize uh, education for Roma people, it's practically impossible without cooperation with NGOs which work with Roma people. If you want to organize uh, courses for immigrants or asylum seekers, it's practically impossible if you have good contact with such community. We have good contacts with local and regional authorities, research institutes and universities, uh, in, on local, national, and international levels especially to improve a lifelong learning approach to different level of education. We, we are part of national and international professional associations and with different adult education providers. So uh, if uh, I should show you through uh, few facts uh, that you can see that it's true what the judge type explained, you should need uh, uh, evidence that it's everything through it, which I explained, just explained. You can see, I hope, you can see uh, the website of our Thurtage University, which is uh, practically a, a really a very important part of our uh, educational programs. We have foreign languages, IT uh, workshops, uh, uh, liberal education, physical education, creative uh, workshops, and a lot of uh, a lot of additional activities. For example, we have uh, lectures. Uh, they publish their own journal. Uh, they have different kind of uh, uh, different kind of training outside institution. But uh, now we have problem with uh, with organize our uh, education during uh, epidemic because only a uh, few of our participants are really open for a new opportunity to use uh, online education and uh, and uh, practically it's such type of education but also i just want to to show you i hope that it's it will be possible uh, to see that we have also a one for me very interesting uh, uh, activity which is connected with civil society organizations. Uh, last uh, few, last two years, we provide we are provide we provide one project about particip participative 
governance in a cultural organizations. And uh, we work with a lot of civil society organizations. You can see on this part, you know, you can see that we have a lot of cooperation with different civil society organization. And this, we, we, we will, pro, we will uh, create a model for a civil public uh, partnership in, uh, in uh, public institutions, uh, especially in uh, centers, uh, cultural centers and in open universities. It's very important because we, we have very good cooperation for, with different civil society organizations, but we try to improve uh, a, a kind of model or just frame how can we improve such type of participative governance and using a kind of co-production in a co-production in which participate uh, different uh, um, uh, disadvantaged groups, their NGOs and public institutions. Of course, uh, last but not least, I hope that I, I can show you, but I'm not sure that it will be possible, uh, uh, just one example of our of our uh, inc inclusive uh, inclusive part of our activities. It's uh, cultural activities for deaf people dancing. How deaf how how deaf people or people with with uh, Uh, Tihamia, you want to share with sound, right? Okay. Because it's I, not always possible. You have no, to. Okay. Uh, just it, it was just a idea to see without it is sound is not very important because there are people with hearing impairments, you know. So the key idea is that uh, deaf people can dance, and we have different kind of workshops, international workshops, in which we include uh, people with hearing impairments. There are sometimes dancing, sometimes they drum, they use drums. So it's kind of our key mission. How can we be inclusive uh, uh, institution in its cooperation with different kinds of marginalized groups and with good cooperation with civil society organizations? So I hope that in this, uh, that I, I, I have enough time to explain everything. And of course, I hope that it will be opportunity to uh, to cooperate in the future in uh, Donet organization and in different frames with you. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations on everything that you do. Very impressive.